Hey guys, welcome to Link Tutorial Series. I'm Ripon Dutho. Today I'm gonna discuss about from clause. So, a query expression must begin with a from clause. Additionally, a query expression can contain sub queries, which also begin with a from clause. The from clause specifies the following the data source on which the query or subquery will be run a local range variable that represents each element in the source sequence now let's get started with visual studio all right first i want to take a new project and i want to give the project name as link part 3 let's say from plus all right so first of all I want to create a data source let's say numbers equal 5 10 2 1 9 17 22 35 50 4 6 7 etc so this is the data source all right now i want to query on this data source so bar I wanna get all the numbers which are greater than 10 so bar let's say greater numbers equal from the data source so in this case num in numbers so numbers is the data source then where num is greater than 10 then select num so as you can see this is a query expression in this query expression our data source is numbers and we are using from from clause this is selecting the data source which is numbers and this is where clause where I am using filtering just number is greater than 10 and selecting the numbers finally I want to print all the numbers so integer x in greater numbers console write x so run the project control f5 as you can see 17 22 35 50 because all these numbers are only greater than 10 let's say greater than or equal on that case it will also include 10 so 10 17 22 35 50 all right so this is a simple data source now let's create another class let's say a student a student has some property string name it has ID and I am making this class so simple so let's say list of integers which are S scores or you can say 
grade points or numbers all right so this is our student class now I want to comment this so first of all I want to create our data source so data source list of students let's say students equal new list of students so new student so id equal let's say one name equal let's say Frank Hanna and a score equal new list int so let's say AD 97 78 and let's say 89 Similarly, we may have several students. Let's say ID equal to name equal Craig Shaw and a scores equal new int. Let's say 77 99 AD. 82 and we have, may have another student id equal 3 name equal Will Smith and a scores equal new list so 82 85 79 and 93 so this is our data source list of students now I wanna query over this data source so now I wanna get all the students whose score is greater than 90 or 93 or whatever you want so let's say bar A score query equal from let's say s in a students then again from let's say this is s2 then and this is a score in a student dot s course oops so s course higher a score is greater than 93 or let's say 95 then select new student dot name and a score here as you can see we have two from class and this is called compound from clause so you can even use in different data source in this case we are using in self reference so a score data source is basically inside of the students object now let's print the students let's say 
bar student in score query print student name name then let's say score student dot score so run the project control f5 now we can see we have two students frank hanna and craig so because these two students have the number which is greater than 95 but will smith doesn't have any number which is greater than 95 or we can let's say 93 or let's say 90 and what happened under of 5 now we have three all these three students so this is the from clause from clause basically indicate the data source so from clause select the data source as you can see students is a object and student dot scores is also an, an object inside of the student object yep so this is the from clause I hope you enjoyed this lesson at least you learned how to use from clause and even you can use compound from clause so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel in the next couple of tutorials I will go through all the other clauses and and link to SQL link to you know XML link to edu.net etc and finally I will discuss on P-Link. Thank you.